Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be kind of covering the general news surrounding Blizzard, their earnings report that came out a couple days ago, and then, you know, the the layoffs, they laid off about 800 people, and, you know, so there's a lot of talk going on with Blizzard right now, and I just wanted to kind of do a video where I have a casual discussion about it, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so first off, just kind of, you know, going to go down a few of these topics surrounding Blizzard right now, uh, you know, and first off, Hearts go out to the 800 people who lost their job. It is obviously awful when people get laid off, especially in large numbers. You never want to see that. You know, this is 800 people who have their lives kind of thrown up in the air and are trying to figure stuff out right now. So definitely uh, thoughts out to them and, and, you know, obviously anybody in the world who loses their job. It's a tough situation to be in. I've been there. A lot of us have been there before. So you know, I just wanted to cover that first is, you know, it's it's never a good thing when, you know, human beings are being thrown into a tough situation. In terms of, you know, how it affects Blizzard and Blizzard's upcoming content and, you know, their fiscal year and what we can expect from Blizzard is, you know, one of the things that came out of the Blizzard earnings call that everybody's kind of gravitating towards and talking about is the fact that Blizzard kind of candidly said they're not going to be releasing a major title in 2019. And I see a lot of people kind of raging about this, like, oh, Diablo 4 is never coming. Like, what do you mean you're not going to release a major title in 2019? And, like, this is to be expected. You know, I, I don't know why people are surprised by this. Um, Blizzard likes to release their major titles in May or around there, at least is what it seems like in the past. Uh, you know, Overwatch was released in May of 2016. Diablo 3 was released in May of 2012. That's kind of like the most two recent, you know, Blizzard big releases that I can kind of think of off the top of my head. And they were both released in May. And any anybody can obviously see that Diablo 4 is not coming out in May of 2019. So, you know, Diablo 4 hasn't even officially been announced yet. Like, like, let alone had a beta or any sort of indication that it would be coming soon. So, you know, I've been saying this for a while, you know, in my Reddit posts and in videos that I've done is, you know, in terms of Diablo 4's release, we're looking at best case scenario, either the end of 2020 or May of 2021. And if I had to pick right now, I would say May 15th of 2021 if i had to guess an actual day of diablo 4's release may 15th 2021 and i'm going to kind of break down my reasoning for that um well i guess first before i dive into the diablo 4 talk more i should kind of finish my thought on the people who got laid off from blizzard the 800 people about who lost their job with blizzard this was mainly esports and public relations staff if what i heard and have read is correct so you know it's the blizzard's actually ramping up their development teams is what they said they're going to be bolstering i believe they specifically said call of duty and diablo development staffs so you know we can be like 99.9 percent .9 sure that diablo 4 is in the works currently um even though it's not been officially announced just based off of kind of things that are going on, things that I heard in the earnings report, things that have been written about in articles from people who have insider knowledge, we can basically confirm to a 99% degree certainty that Diablo 4 is being worked on. Now, obviously, th this could mean Diablo Immortal. It really could, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Diablo Immortal is kind of something that Blizzard mainly outsourced to a different company to kind of do as a project for them as far as getting into the mobile market. And I believe that their main project in the Diablo universe is based around Diablo 4. And I do believe they are currently working on that as we speak. There's been constant job postings about Diablo unannounced projects and the amount of hiring that's been going on, it shows you that something's being ramped up big for Diablo and I think it's Diablo 4. Now, if we look at certain timetables as far as you know we're going to use overwatch and diablo 3 again for overwatch we had an announcement an official announcement of overwatch at blizzcon 2014 which is in november so november of 2014 is when overwatch was officially announced um 
Then the beta came out about exactly a year later in late 2015. Then we had Overwatch get released in May of 2016. So this means there was exactly a year and a half between Overwatch being announced and when it was released to the public. So if, if Diablo 4 follows a similar timetable, it would be about a year and a half after announcement that it would be released to the public. Now, Diablo 3 was a little bit of a different timetable. Diablo 3 was officially announced in June of 2008. The beta came out in September of 2011. So, you know, you're almost going three years in between announcement and beta. And then the release was May of 2012. So, a, a pretty quick release after the beta there and, and mostly similar to Overwatch. Um... I expect the Overwatch timetable to be the more modern example and, and what to expect for Diablo 4. I made a video before BlizzCon last year saying, hey, saddle up PC fans, it's going to be a rough BlizzCon and, and you're probably not going to be happy about what goes on at BlizzCon and that ended up being true. It was actually worse than I even thought it was going to be, but that's what happened. I think BlizzCon 2019 which is later this year, I believe they're going to announce Diablo 4. And I believe it's going to be about a year after that, similar to Overwatch, that they're going to announce a, or they're going to host a closed beta. They'll probably let a few thousand people into this closed beta, you know, you know sell it as a package deal with BlizzCon tickets where you're eligible for a key or, you know, let streamers or YouTubers or, or whatever, you know, let people apply for beta keys. They'll probably have a closed beta about a year after the announcement at BlizzCon 2019. And then they'll probably have a more open beta where they allow, you know, 5 to 10 million players. I believe Overwatch's open beta saw an influx of 10 million players. And it was, and that was pretty close to, to the release. I believe that was like in April. And the game was released in May. So that's what I kind of expect for Diablo 4. To be announced, the, I'm sure Blizzard's going to do some crazy awesome cinematic and they'll announce Diablo 4 at BlizzCon in 2019 and then they'll have a beta at the end of 2020 and then they will release the game May 15th of 2021 that's kind of what I think is the most likely scenario and yeah so we'll probably be getting Diablo 3 seasonal themes until then so we've got about another two years of diablo 3 seasons and seasonal themes before something really big comes in the pc diablo universe so yeah i just wanted to take some time to kind of talk about this stuff and and go over everything because of the the activision earnings report coming out and then people getting laid off and the announcement of no major releases in 2019 and just kind of have a casual discussion about everything so yeah let me know what you think down in the comments and as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace